What's going on guys play by play gaming here back with another epic 7 video today We're taking on abyss 95 where we're going up against Charles Let's take a look at his mechanics real quick. All right for floor 95. We got Charles I would say he's pretty much regular Charles just with a couple of boss mechanics So one of his main mechanics is that if you land three or more debuffs, he's gonna cleanse himself and then he's going to uh, reset his S3. So make sure that if you do bring any debuffers, you don't land three or more debuffs on him. Otherwise, you're gonna have a bad time. Also, every time that an ally dies, he increases his attack. So once he does his S3, he does summon a couple of heroes to help him out. I would say overall strategy, just nuke down his friendly heroes and then focus on Charles. He is gonna summon on his S3 DN and Basque, you will have a little bit of time before he does his S3 again to take out DN and Basque. I didn't really get to see too much what they do, but I'm assuming that DN probably heals, Basque probably gives buffs. So I've tried to focus on DN first and then Basque. Once Charles does his S2 again, he's gonna summon Crow and Corvus. Now the exact same thing. Focus down Corvus because he does land a lot of debuffs on your team. So you want to try to focus him first. I thought that maybe I could let go of Crow and just kind of ignore him, but he does stun your team. So I did end up having to focus him down. Uh, other than that, take out the friendlies and then you can just focus on him. So once he gets to his third time doing his faithful strike, so his S3, he's going to AOE defense break your entire team. So make sure that you have a cleanser, someone that has uh, immunity also works well. I brought Momo just for that soul burn and for that cleanse. I also brought Kitty Clarissa for the cleanse as well. Kitty Clarissa did help a lot just because I don't have another dual attacker except for Tamarin and Lilius. I don't have Lilius, so I would have brought Lilius instead of maybe uh, Kitty Clarissa or maybe even Falconer Clurry just because Lilius has a cleanse. But I don't have Lilius. I have Kitty Clarissa. It's about the same thing, right? So when she does her S3, she has uh, somewhat of a cleanse on her S3. And then her S1, once you do her S3, she gets another turn and then her S1 triggers a dual attack from, in my case, Lorena. So it's the highest attacker on your team. So I kind of got away with having that additional cleanse in Kitty Clarissa and then having the on-demand dual attack once you have her S3 up. So just to sum up the overall tips, make sure that you bring a cleanser, someone that can remove debuffs. If you don't have Momo built, you might have Lilius. She is a great cleanser. I don't have her, but she would also work really well here just because of the dual attack and the cleanse. Number two, make sure that you bring someone that can uh, at least land a defense break. If you can have it on demand, that'd be great. If you only have SSB that can defense break, then that you should be fine too. You want the defense break so that you can take out those friendlies as soon as possible. Number three, make sure that you nuke down Dn, Bass, Corvus, Crow before hitting Charles. Once all his friends are gone, just nuke him down as soon as possible. Otherwise, the more he S3s, the stronger he gets. Overall, this fight was pretty easy. I would say as long as you follow that simple strategy, take out the friendlies and then take out Charles, you'll be good to go. All right, guys, that's gonna be the video. Let me know in the comments down below what comps, what team comps you used to clear Abyss Floor 95. Are you using Momo like me? Is she MVP for you or are you just bringing in Tama? Tamarin and getting the job done. Make sure you check out the description down below. I did leave all of these tips included in the video in the description. Also, if you're interested in all of the heroes gear, make sure that you stay tuned to the end. I'll also include the timestamp for the battle and for the gear down in the description below. Like always, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel. It definitely helps the channel grow and reach more people like you who like content like this. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the video.